Hi! In today's video, I will show you how you can generate style consistent characters using our new tool Create M to Excel Image and the Inpainting tool. First off, we will create our sprite. I will be creating a JRPG fantasy game NPC character. Make sure you like all the other settings and then uh, press Generate. All right, let's uh, clean him up a bit. And I'm clicking uh, E for remove. Uh, all right, and we can use the new reduce colors in case there are some colors are pretty close, but slightly different. We can reduce the amount of colors nice and then we can just quickly go in and uh, fix the last last things as we f see fit all right you can click uh, control h to get the um, dialog back up and yeah now i want to show you how you can create new style consistent characters for this we'll use in paint So let's ask for a JRPG fantasy character um, in a, a suit of armor. And what we will do is we're going to inpaint, go to the layer called inpainting, and uh, let's draw. So the more we let the uh, model see of our character, it, the better it will be at copying the style. It will also, when copying style, we also will have a tendency to uh, follow, follow the colors that are being used. So let's, uh, in this case, let's just show the face. And hopefully that is enough information for the model to understand that, yeah, the style of the character. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we can also go in here, uh, I guess, I can say single black color outline, basic shading, I think it was medium detail, and then we can click uh, generate. And as you can see, <laughs> it really wanted to uh, reuse the, uh, oh, I accidentally had a B there. Uh, but yeah, it has a tendency to want to reuse the colors. Let's uh, try again if the B was the issue. Uh, Alright, so let's see. I think that's quite style consistent. So yeah, that, this is a good way of uh, copying style. And uh, once you've done the body, if you want, you can go in and you can, um, uh, let's say, you can give them a helmet or you can say, uh, with uh, long hair. Uh, what's important to know, when you uh, use inpainting, you want to describe the whole image and not just the uh, the part you're trying to inpaint. That's something uh, a lot of people usually accidentally make a mistake about. Uh, and also another thing is like the model wants to use all of the inpainting, kind of. So if you think like the hair is too big, what you can do is uh, just make the inpainting smaller and the uh, hair will also be smaller once you generate.
All right. So we went from this to this uh, to this. Looks pretty good. Now let's let's show you how to how you can rotate your characters. So sometimes, or it happens that the model might not give you like the perf, especially um, create MX MXL image has a tendency to not really follow directions. So what you can do is you can use the rotation tool. And in this case, it's probably more like southwest. So we can do southwest to south. And uh, just click generate. And you'll get a character facing you instead. Uh, all right. But what you, what you can also do uh, southwest, then you can go west. And if you don't really like the results, just click try again. And if you're still not happy with the results after trying again, I recommend uh, trying using a init image. So, uh, I guess maybe just removing that actually is kind of all I wanted to do. Uh, all right. So let me show you uh, how you can add uh, a weapon to your uh, character. So let's say we want a uh, sword and shield. And yeah, make sure that your description describes your whole character. In this case, we would like, uh, we're gonna use init image to help the model understand uh, what we want. So let's do, uh, we could do like a shield like this and a sword would uh, be something like this, let's say. Then we can inpaint. And we set init image. And let's uh, lower the strength a bit. Then we can click generate. Once we have this, I uh, recommend just maybe fixing it up a bit. Let's see. I messed this up slightly, so let's just quickly edit these things. Let's uh, ask the model to uh, improve our sword. So let's go to inpainting. And let's uh, inpaint the uh, sword. And let's ask uh, for uh, with a um, let's see what it imagines it should look like. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them here or in the Discord channel. And I will see you in the next video.